it's very embarrassing uh, because I was sometimes I play music on the set and I play I was playing when the cream came, when Queen came to see me uh, during the production I was shooting this scene and I had Pink Floyd playing over <laughs> the dark side of the moon and it's excruciatingly embarrassing. Can I say? Um, so what can I say? Said, how did a man as straight as Mike Hodges make a film as camp as Flash Gordon? Uh, um, well, I, I needed a film, <laughs> and Dino, for reasons I never you ever understood, I never understood. He, he he persisted until I did it. And you were stepping in. What was it, Nicholas Rowe? Nicholas, Rowe, Nicholas Rowe. Rowe. Well, that's, Nick had introduced me to Dino, and for some reason he, you know. And during the shooting, I, I, I plucked out the coast. Uh, we're now friends, and we, it's all going smoothly. And uh, I said to Dino, Dino, I can't understand why you chose me to make this film. I mean, I don't know anything about special effects. I don't know anything about comics. I'd never heard of Flash Gordon practically before this. And he looked at me, and he said, Mike, <laughs> I liked your face. <laughs> I, I liked your face. And so he was, Dino was the peasant, really. And he, everything was played on the faces. He would go, go up to an air flight to fly somewhere, and he'd see the pilot, he didn't like the look of his face, he wouldn't fly anymore. <laughs> That's all I was told. Instinct. So yes, he wouldn't, uh, he was quite serious. By the way, I, I could hate this evening to pass without thanking my operator, Gordon Heyman, who's here tonight, yeah. uh, who helped me make this film, and, his, and we survived it together. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> did you have to shape what we see if you were inheriting a film? Because I was just thinking things like the, all those scenes shot in that kind of big main chamber, the red. If you look at the last Star Wars trilogy, it's, it's you know, the villain's lair is always red. There's something about the way you scaled up and presented these big set piece moments, which has been hugely influential on science fiction since. Yes. Well, I, first of all, I have to say that you know, I inherited not Nick's uh, conception of the film, but I did, in, I did inherit a, a brilliant production designer and costume in Danilo Donati. Now, Danilo had worked with Fellini in many films, and he was a very theatrical uh, designer. Now, he and Dino were like that. They loved each other, you know. And I, so I realized quite early on, thank heavens, that I had no control over the film, basically. And that what I would do uh, with weight until uh, what I saw on the set, and then I'd adapt it. So it became an improvisation, which I loved doing, I might add. I really enjoyed it. So I'd add lines and, you know, why don't we make the, the blood a, a color of the, suitable to the character? If it's a princess, have blue blood, and so on, like all these little details that you added as it went along. And uh, it became, I just, I enjoyed doing it. I, although in many ways, I. I had no control over it, although I did uh, in an odd way because I'd make up things. So, I'd, you know, Danilo's costumes were often often crazy, and I sometimes wonder he'd ever read the script at all. <laughs> <laughs> There's a scene with Dale where she's beating up all the pigmen, and in the script she does karate chops and this and that. And she turns up and, in this costume, which is the sort of heavy metal basically, and high heels. So I thought. Um, so, you know, <laughs> so I said, okay, you know, take the shoes off and leave them down on the floor like they're outside of a hotel room to be clean. And, and then she punches out the first pig, and then she moves the shoes and she keeps moving the shoes around. So she always kept tab tabbing the shoes. And all these little things just sort of happened, you know. One just made them up as we went along. I had a wonderful crew who, you know, could also adapt and... and, and fill up all my ridiculous needs. That is one of my favourite bits with her moving her heels every time she, she takes out another goon. Excellent. Um, 